Hey guys, welcome back to Foreign Reacts. I do hope you guys are having a very, very, really good day today. Uh, we're gonna be checking out a video titled American Tourist Has Surprise and Culture Shock in Spain. So, um, should be a really interesting video, man. So, um, <laughs> let's get right into it. If you're from Spain, rep your country in the comments section. And I'm um, just trying to see what's up about this video. So, um, we're gonna get right into it, man. So, thank you for watching. If you have any suggestions, feel free to leave those in the comment section down below. I'll try to get back to that as soon as possible. But for now, let's get right into this video. This is my friend, Alex. Alexander so. Kleinschmidt, and he's from Wisconsin, the United States Milwaukee. of America. Mini B. And in this video, Milly we're going to show how he reacts with his first impressions to the city of Madrid, the country of Spain, and the continent of Europe. Do Americans? Man, listen to me. Listen to me. I'm not going to say I'm the regular, regular type, human type, American, whatever you want to put it, however you want to say it, whatever. I don't care about none of that. All I want to say is this. This world is a wonderful place and it has many places that, you know, would shock you. And, you know, I want to go to a lot of places, honestly. If I had the money right now to fl f literally get right on a plane right now, I flew right to, right to Spain, right to Madrid. And I'm just chilling. Barcelona, we holla at you. Really have such a small mind that they don't understand that things are different outside of the world? Find out in this video. Dude, Alex, it's your first metro ride. Whoa, it's a metro. Crazy. Never actually been on one of those. Kind of kind of crazy because in New York, I was in New York. I've been in New York. I've lived in New York for a small period of time. And, you know, the train was literally always above my head. But the thing is, I either walk or, you know, drove with family in New York. So it's not a situation where I was ever on the train because i never had a job or anything of the sort like that it's just living if you know what i mean so yeah i've actually never been on one of these and it would be really interesting to actually get onto one of these because i've seen them even in finland i saw it in rovanami and i still didn't go onto it like i just when would i ever get on a train i've probably traveled on everything on land except a motorbike and a train crazy your first time seeing the city of Madrid. They got a Popeyes here too. They got a Popeyes, dude. The Americans have invaded. <laughs> Whoa. That was a huge shocker for me when I saw McDonald's in Rovinami, because yeah. Why am I stopping the video so much? It's it's relatable, I guess. Wow. First time churros, how are they? Bien. Whoa, Bien. tomato sauce and ham on toast dude. together. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Mm. Wow, fresh, affordable fruit everywhere and vegetables. Holy moly. So, Alex, uh, what do you think about this neighborhood, Lucero? Lucero? It's nice. It, it, it's pretty nice, but it's a little, a little bit chunga. <laughs> but hey, Lucero has its charm, don't get me wrong. Well, obviously the cars are a lot smaller, but like, man, check out this park job. It's hit like, the back of this thing. <laughs> yeah, there's like no space to park anywhere yeah, in this anywhere. city. Check it out. Open an account, make a deposit, and trade smarter at Vantage. Oh, I see you got a washer here, but where's the dryer at, man? Right, on, man. Not right. I mean, that that was a shocker. I'm, I'm one minute, 28 seconds in this video. I probably stopped it like 500 times, but that was a huge one for me when I came to Finland. You know, I need to put that in my culture shock, right? No dryer. Uh, I need to put that in my culture shock because I have not made my culture shock video about Finland as yet. And, um... You know, it's, 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 it was a culture shock for me not having a dryer, washer for clothes, no dryer. Yeah, that was a definite culture shock for me. Everywhere in the world has dryers. Here in Europe, we like to conserve energy. Everybody hangs their clothes outside. What if it falls? Ah, buena pinta. Muy bien. Muy bien. Holy moly, how dare you. <laughs> Alex, what do you think about Gran Via? Increíble. Increíble. Alex, there's a lot of people walking, huh? I haven't seen this many people in a long time. Really? What do you think of Gran Via, bro? It's, it's un jaleo? 
Jaleo. Un Jaleo. Wow, could you imagine living up there? Alex, what do you think about Puerta del Sol? <laughs> Coho Nuto. Coho Nuto! Wow, I'm almost as happy as when the Bucks won the championship. Bucks and six. Go Buck. Alex, what do you think about this street here? We're entering Barrio de las Letras or nearby. I like the vibe here. It's dark, everybody's on the street, drinking, eating, it's nice. It's, it's, More it's, terraces. It's romantic. At the cerveza. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I don't know what I'm saying though. San Miguel Jarra, pero esto es this is de la casa del abuelo. Aceitunas, are they good? <laughs> yeah. Not really. Yeah. 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 Really good. These are the best, almost as good as gaspacho. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> yeah, it's a little it's such a cute bus. Alex, how's this building? Wow. It's incredible. Incredible. It's incredible. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Oh. Bro, this isn't Wisconsin. This is Madrid, Spain. A la Madrid. Go pack, go. <laughs> Dude, what do you think of this bus? Wow, it's so clean. My goodness. <laughs> wow, the metro is really full. <laughs> American bus get dirty. American bus get dirty. I can, I can, I can definitely tell you that. I've been a passenger too many times. <laughs> Dude, where are all the houses? These are the houses, man. They're what? called pisos. Whoa. It, bro. Wow, this market is so cheap and diverse. My God. We got food from Lisbon, Portugal. Back there we had Peruvian food. Madre mia. Hola de que padre. <laughs> it's my country. Venezuela? My food my, of my country. Venezuela. Yo, this place is cojonudo. <laughs> <laughs> ah, que rico. Mm. Que rico? Muy bueno. Mmm, que delicioso! El giri, el giri, mira el giri! <laughs> Man, this Spanish sun, it's just so bright. And amazing, dude, it's what? amazing! <laughs> What's it like in... Which... It's like this dude ain't never seen nothing before! He said the Spanish sun is so bright! <laughs> Have you ever seen Cali? <laughs> like, I mean, sun is sun everywhere, right? I mean, Finnish sun is different vibe because we up north where i'm in, in uh lapland um in the winter not the winter but in the summertime it doesn't set at all so it's always out johnson in the winter in winter you don't see the sun very much <laughs> alex we gotta watch some football it's saturday Go college Badgers. football not football today. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this part's really cool. And even these balconies are just so just beautiful. Holy these are actually nice holy. houses, right? Yeah, these are nice. I gotta get a picture. <laughs> Dude, there's terraces everywhere. Dude, welcome to Spain. Could ride a bike bigger than that, dude. I can't believe they fit here. That's so crazy. Dude, it's like we're in the Chamber of Secrets in Harry Potter or some shit. Toma, toma, like, eso, bravo, bravo, bravo. It's like we're in college again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, como te amas? Hermelinda. Mariela. We, Alex just met these really nice girls on the metro for the first time. He me, loves me. Amo, me amo Alex. <laughs> me encanta Madrid. Oh my god, there's so many people. <laughs> wow, this guy's like a soldier. Dude, that's Don Quixote. Hey, hey Alex, come on, what brings you here? Yo, what are you doing here? You know, I'm just visiting Spain. What up, man? Dude, I'm is that MC Palma? Dude, I know you from YouTube, man. Really? MC Palma. <laughs> Oh, look at this guy. Oh Dude. my god. We gotta show this guy Madrid how it's really hey, done. Bro, oh, man. man. You're gonna love Madrid, trust me. You're gonna love it. You're All gonna right. love it. It's amazing. <laughs> you gotta show me around, but the culture, the people, the nightlife, the lifestyle. Amazing, bro. And this guy on the camera, behind the camera, Adventure Elliot. Bro. Oh, bro, MC Pablo. <laughs> Yo, this feels bigger this than New York vibe. City. Wow. 
Oh my what? God, this is amazing. <laughs> what? What you Dude. said about New York? What you said about New York? Hey, don't do that now, sir. Come on now, don't do that. Don't do that, don't do that. What do you think of the new uh, World UNESCO World Heritage Site right here, Retiro Ooh, Park? That's beautiful. And the Puerta de Alcala, Spain has, I think, 49 of these in the country, among the tops in Europe, right behind Italy. And, and this is crazy. This is awesome. And I'm taller than everybody else on these scooters. Parque Retiro is insane right now. Wow, dude, is this not the best park in the world, you guys? Check it out. Parque Retiro, you guys, on scooters. Does not get better than this. October in Madrid, Spain. El Rey Afonso. ¿Qué te trajo aquí a España? Y bueno, soy Palma y soy eh, un uh, informático aquí en España. Soy un youtuber también y soy de Uganda, en este África. Y... ¿Qué, ¿Qué tal tu experiencia en España? Eh, me encanta España mucho, la gente aquí muy cariñoso y comida también. Y bueno, eh, vida en España es muy mejor. Me encanta Madrid, ¿sabes? Y bueno, por eso España... Me encanta. Dude, why is everybody here so skinny? Wow. <laughs> because they don't live off of McDonald's and fast food, Alex. Oh, Duh. they're not like me. <laughs> Bro, so you do tours in Madrid on scooters, right? So I do tours in uh, Madrid, basically electronic uh, scooter Madrid experience for tourists uh, at a price of maybe 10 euros and 8 euros, depending on the schedule. On the scooter. On the schedule, exactly. On the wow. Scooter. Tour guide MC Palmo. So waiting for you so we can make this happen and you can have a good experience down here in Madrid. One thing is when riding these scooters is you're basically like a car, so you gotta ride in the car lane and you gotta be safe. <laughs> Don't do this at home. Live streaming can be tricky and sometimes trying to find the right soft. MC Palma, you gotta treat this as a car, right? This is yeah. a car, you're in the car bike lane. Absolutely. Here in Plaza Cibeles and we got a delivery driver here. This is how people get around in uh, Madrid, Spain. Absolutely. Additionally to bikes and <laughs> lots of walking. So this cool. is a different type of tour on Madrid. I didn't expect to do this in uh, this video. Wowzers. Who doesn't love a scooter tour in Madrid? We got a Starbucks there, a McDonald's. My friend will feel right at home. Okay, we made it out of the car zone, so to speak. You guys, that was intense, right? That was very intense. That was that awesome. Was that was awesome. Palma, the best Airbnb tour guide in Madrid. <laughs> Represent. Guys, whoa. Represent. Hello. Represent. <laughs> wow. Can he I see? I cannot see anything, but you guys were entering Puerta del Sol. Wow, this is the best metro train station I've ever seen. There's so many beautiful people everywhere. It's crazy. There's not beautiful people in the United States. They are, but everybody dresses nice here. Bro, oh. what is that? What do they got up there? Dude, that's Hamoni Perico, the best ham in the world. I love Mao. I love Mao, baby. Mmm, that might be the best water I've ever tasted in like a public park. Madrid water is the best in the world. This park is so big. Look Alex, it. this is Casa de Campo. It's See? five times the size of Central Park in New York City. Wow, that's enormous. Dude, how does one city have so many beautiful parks? How do they have so many trees? I don't know, but I think that Madrid has the highest proportion of planted trees uh, in all of Europe. I can't believe how many people are still wearing masks over here. Mm. Mm. What is the temple doing in Madrid? Th this is the best place to see the sunset. Templo de Debo. Wow. Wow. Can you tell this is the most famous plot, spot to take pictures in Madrid? We have the Ca Ca Almudena Cathedral over there. Everybody here enjoying the sunset. Live music and happy people. Wow, Popeye's in a safe neighborhood. <laughs> Weezy and the Yo, my man just said Popeye's in the same neighborhood. <laughs> if you waiting for America, you ain't going to get that. <laughs> Louisiana does it best, baby. <laughs> Popeye's. Love that chicken for Popeye's. Yo, boy. Mm. Chicken skin. Hot man. <laughs> I'm moving to Malaga, guys. Wow, Spain even has a jungle. Dude, you basically have a beach in your backyard. Bro, it's so nice here. It must be really expensive to live here. 
Have you been to the east or west coast of the United States? <laughs> There's a beautiful scene around every corner here. Take a look. Just any corner. First menu of the day. Ostia. <laughs> I can't believe how big menu of the day is. We got dessert here now. Mm. Two other plates before that. Um, no gracias. <laughs> gracias, <be> amor. <laughs> Roman, Moorish, and Spanish ruins piled on top of each other. 150 beers. Whoa, it's a bullfighting ring. And so as we wrap up our uh, short trip here with Alex here from Madrid to Malaga, we're left with the final couple thoughts here. Alex went from ignorant to cultured and educated. And if you guys couldn't tell, we were mostly being sarcastic the whole time. And that's because Alex has been to Europe several times. In fact, where are you going now? I am going to Latvia. Latvia then? And then I'll be going to Scotland, uh, going to England. And you've lived in Germany, you speak German. See. Si. And so he's well aware of the cultural differences between the United States and America. But it proves a point that when you're from the United States and you don't have to venture across the Pacific or the Atlantic Ocean that sometimes your ignorance remains without knowing and you actually think the world revolves around you because that's what our culture, that's what pop culture, our media teaches you. But as we're here in Spain, we wrap it up. There's a lot to learn once you start traveling and that's sort of the moral of the story. So hope you guys in, uh, enjoyed that video. Yeah, solid, right. solid. I appreciate the view. <laughs> I appreciate the view, man. If I get if I get a little bit cash, you know, I'm going I'm to come through, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Visit Madrid, Spain. I don't know the Espanol like that, but I think I'll get by just fine. But um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know what y'all think about this video. It was really beautiful. I can't lie to you. And um, I enjoyed it. So uh, let me know what y'all think about it. And uh, for now, I'm out of here, guys. Peace.